Hey guys, Clark here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Clay's Ramblings. Uh, I feel like some people were, uh, they generally liked the World of Warcraft rambling video, and I kind of knew that um, I wanted to get a TF2 video done, because again, TF2 is my most well-known stuff that I put on YouTube and Twitch. So again, I feel like you guys would really uh, feel this a to be appreciated. So, um, you know, uh, so we'll start off with the questions. We'll see how far this goes. Um, so how did I get into TF2 as a kid, uh, as an adult? I got into TF2 right when it was just released. I didn't get into the beta. I didn't get into any of that. I just got it when it was released. I was hooked I was kind of hooked around the time with the Call of Duty games, and then I wanted something more of a class-based shooter. So TF2 came to mind when I went into this, and I thought, at first, like, I didn't like it. I thought it was, like, a bit of a, too much of a toon-based shooter. Like, I was even a fan of Toontown back in the day, so this was kind of meddling too much into that as well. But um, by the time of 2010, 2011, I was like, man, this is actually really good. There's a lot of great teamwork and team play here. And um, the amazing updates that it was going through, that was like great as well. Um, I kind of took a, a, a break. Around 2015, 2016, I took a break after that. I even got like majorly depressed over, um, not depressed in general, but depressed over TF2. So I gave most of my stuff away to a uh, random guy. I didn't even care. Like, I was that depressed over it because I just wanted that stuff gone to forget about it. And coincidentally enough, I was, like, um, getting into Borderlands, too. So that was pretty funny. Um, but uh, when I got back into it as an adult around 2018, 2019. And uh, because I needed a new game to, like, start kind of, like, feel like, what, what what's a good main Twitch game I could probably do? For stuff, I see some streamer, uh, twi TF2 Twitch streamers doing. I think Benny, um, I, I saw a little bit of, um, uh, Big Joey was getting into it. So, like, okay, I'll give this a shot. And surprisingly enough, like, the community really helped out. I even got to affiliate on Twitch thanks to them. So, I got to give them huge props for, uh, helping me out with this stuff. Um, especially just now, like, I just got done with Twitch stream and I got, uh, streaming TF2, and I actually got some gifted subs, some bits, so that's that's very much appreciated. Um, but, you know, uh, we'll go to the next question, like, to myself, what's the best, fe worst features over the years of TF2? Probably the best features were, like, this one's a bit of a mid-tier one, is the updates. We used to have some great, great updates, the medic updates and the sniper, kind of like the sniper versus spy update. Those were really, really good updates. We got the amazing MVM update, which allowed us to um, basically play a PVE mode against um, bots, but the good bots. And then unfortunately, that goes to the one of the worst features is just the bots in general that Valve just seems to have completely just said, fuck this game, we're not update i mean they update it but it, all we get is like um i think a summer halloween and a christmas update that's all we get and like especially the Smithmas updates uh, especially piss me off because um of some of the cosmetics and some of the maps it's it's not really good but um going back to the positivity i still i do like the cosmetics and the weapons they're really good most of them are still pretty balanced some are like um are st stay like a tf2's thing and that's pretty much it oh uh, like uh especially with medic like usually most medics now have crusaders crossbow and the uber soft that's it you know that's pretty much it they may like switch uh their their medic guns around but that's pretty much it um uh, I, okay, for the next question is, like, how much of a fan, uh, this one's, like, kind of, kind of more, same as question one, how much of a fan was I as a kid and adult, no, as a kid, wasn't much of a fan until 2010, 2011, or, or around 2008, 2009, if I remember, like, around year two or three of TF2, that's when I started to become a fan, I, and I came, became a fan again back in 2019, I do hope that, 
again, Valve can do something later on so it can make me more of a fan again because as it is, it's like, and I hate to say, TF2 is just there to help me make some money so I can pay for my bro's PC on, you know, so he can get into streaming too, you know? I mean, I'm actually starting to move. I, I, I do a little bit of variety, but I'm actually starting to move uh, towards possibly, possibly becoming a MMO streamer, but I also still can do first-person shooter game so don't worry about that uh the next question is do you ever want to go with tf2 yes yes i did again i got depressed back in 2016 2017 and i was like playing a lot of borderlands 2 and i was like i don't want to play tf2 anymore it's you know it, it's got such a content drop I, I can't remember if it was like around the time that jungle inferno was on its second or third year it's like and that's the biggest update we got that was one of the biggest updates we got, and that was like that was it. That was it, man. Like, yeah, we had the we had the summer and stuff. I do wish we had a spring update. I really do wish, but that was the time I gave up on it. Uh, sometimes I feel in and out. I want to give up on it because there's not much to do. There's really not much to do. There's yeah, there's casuals, but you'd be lucky if there's bots. Um, the Uncle Topia servers are good. I'll give it that, but they're they're really have a lot of tryhards in there. The lazy purple servers surprisingly are empty. Like they're either empty or they're really boring to be in, which sucks because I love the lazy purple servers. Like he's okay, he's all good. Just I wish like um there was more like people into his servers because just doesn't seem like there's much to do there anymore. Um, all right, what's uh, uh next one is like so we're at the mid tier question. What's my What's my top nine personal favorite TF2 characters? I'll just like use the characters example. Um, so I'm going to do my least favorite to favorite. Um, all right, the first one, we got the spy. Uh, I, not that I don't, uh, okay, I was like this. I love his personality. I love everything there is about him, but I suck at stealth. And unfortunately, this goes to show with this character. And especially, like, I just hate when people don't know how to play him right. But... Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just really not, like, a good, good thing with him, man. Unfortunately, he's a great character, but, but, uh, again, his play style is, like, just a more personal preference of why I don't play him. And, uh, we'll move to number eight. We got, uh, we got the, sp uh, the sniper. Uh, once again, great character, great personality. Everything's great about him, but I don't really play him much because... Um, again, I don't, I don't really go as the kind of, kind of guy that, like, waits on people to get headshots and then my job's done, you know? Uh, again, great guy, great personality. I just don't, uh, personally care for his, uh, you know, play style or, and all that. Um, number, uh, it's like number seven, I have to give to Heavy. And again, I, I keep repeating myself like an open book, but, um, again, He's, he's a cool guy, great personality. I think out of Spy and Sniper, he is pretty co fun to play in at times. But otherwise, um, yeah, I don't play him much. I mean, he's just a slow guy that shoots a minigun, maybe throws out um, healing items, support his friends, but otherwise, nah, I don't, I don't play him much. Okay, so number, number six, we got the Pyro. I, more often than not, I do play him... Depending if there's too many, too much of the same team, so we've got too much scouts, soldiers, demo men, etc. I like to go pyro. It's he's pretty decent to play. I like to do, um, I try to go like the I call it the speed pyro build with him. But we'll get to that when my when my uh, personal cosmetic weapon load out. So I'll say like this, I and also too I like his of course him being psychotic madman. That's pretty cool too, and um he's got some really great um cosmetic stuff. But uh, otherwise, don't really play him much. He's he's um okay, good to play as like almost jack of all trades type opinion on him. But otherwise, eh, he's cool. Um, this one's a toughie. Uh, number I think actually I think I would change it again. Yeah, number, um, oh geez, like I think I changed uh my mind on some some of these things. Whatever. I think, like, number five, yeah, I do Engineer because, 
as again, as much as I like him, um, again, he's honestly, he's like, he's only the reason he's so high in the list, but also kind of like the mid tier character is that, uh, in, I love playing like offensive engineer when he's on blue team, you know, getting out the, uh, the, uh, gunslinger and then just like going in, helping my teammates and all the other stuff. When I try to go defensively, yeah, he's pretty boring to play. Like, I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. We got some cool as hell engineer mains out there. Like, again, uh, we got Uncle, Uncle Topia and all those other cool dudes. But otherwise, for me, I don't really, uh, play him as much. Uh, number four, uh, we got the scout. Um, originally I think he was my number three, but, um, I, I don't want to tell about on the list, but so-and-so class replaced him. And I feel like, again, I think it's like the reason being is like, as much as I love playing him, his, and, and rightfully so, his squishiness does kind of bother me a bit, but you know, that, that's what happens. Like you gotta, uh, with someone this fa who being the fastest class in the game, you gotta give him a good weakness. So again, I'll, I'll let it slide. Just sucks that, um, you know, just sucks that, uh, um, I wish I could love him more, but this is the position he's going to be. Uh, number three, Demo Man. Now I love Demo Man. He's got the perfect movement speed, you know, health pull, and, um, he's got like, uh, some really great, um, weapons. Again, I love using Iron Bomber and, and Quickie Bomb Launcher for him. Kind of replace my other stuff. Um, he's not only a great character to play, but like, but also like, he's probably like my second or third favorite class to play in MVM. Uh, number, let's see, number two was the soldier. Originally he was my number one, but, uh, you know, the number one class, like that's how it is with this. Like, again, he's got a great personality. He's got that kind of jack of all trades play style more so than pyro. Like, yeah, he could be offensive, defensive, supportive. He's Again, he's got great cosmetics, great weapons, all the other stuff. And, like, he, again, he was virtually my number one. I love playing him throughout the time. But, uh, I think, like, around 2019, the medic became my number one. And, of course, being because, like, I started to become a bit of a support, um, kind of guy. I loved healing people. I loved supporting them as much as I can. Maybe less so now that I was starting to feel like, eh, I don't want to be in the battlefield as much, even though Soldier Demo are my, are my top two and three. Uh, but, like, just healing people feels, uh, what's the term? I guess invigorating is the term. I really love just helping people, you know? And now I can do it in-game. With, again, with one of the best ways it's it's so healing is such i'll say that too for my number two point it like healing in this game is so freaking satisfying like i don't know i i've seen like uh you know i've done healing in mrpgs before but the the way that medic heals in this game is just oh it's so good i w i could be wrong but i wish more games did this style of healing because it's easy it's it's so, so easy, and you don't have to, like, go crazy over it. He's not only, yeah, he's not only, like, especially in, especially in MVM, because, like, once he gets that, uh, he was kind of underpowered, but once he got that shield, man, he became overpowered. Like, that's all I gotta say. All right, so my next one is, uh, you know, you guys already kind of seen this before, but I'll do this again. Like, uh, you know, my, my, might have gotten some new stuff. So what's my my uh, cosmetic weapon loadout? So I'm going to show, like, from A, A, B, C, and D. So I got my main, my MVM loadout on my Halloween and Smith's ones. So Scout, I got the Scouter Gun, Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, and the Rap Assassin. Um, I, I think I got this from the Winglet. I usually do Track Terrorizer, Digit Divulger, and the Front Runner. I might... Uh, sometimes I might switch it out to, like, uh, maybe, um, I might switch the gloves. I might just do the ball kicking boots. Um, and then maybe, uh, the Antarctic, Antarctic, uh, eyewear. But I think that's about it. Like, let me check for you guys real quick. I do have the Cross Con Express and the Sharp Airborne Atarn Hot Heels I used to do. Otherwise, yeah, that, that's pretty good. So, MVM loadout. 
I, again, I wish I had, like, more of, um, tech-based cyberpunkish lookout, but that's all I could do for Scott. I mean, I just played safe. I do Soda Popper, Mad Milk, and Fan of War. Um, the Halloween update. This one is, like, really bizarre. Again, I wish this, like, fit more, but I got the Batter's Beak, Corpse Carry, and Creepy Crawlies. Lol is about the same. I got the Unarmed Comet Kill Streak. Um, again, uh, Scout, uh, this one I just kind of, again, played it safe. Just did some Christmas stuff. Might have done a little weird with this one. Um, this one I took from, like, again, another source filmmaker. So I got the Brotherhood Arms, the Fermo Tracker, and the Brooklyn Booties. That's about it for Scout. Soldier, this is one of my favorite loadouts out there. I got the Veterans Attire, the Cold Front Curb Stompers, and the Thousand Yard Stare. Might switch it out with a Bills hat every now and then, but otherwise, about the same. So I got a, I got the MVM Kill Streak, you know, Rocket Launcher, I got the Sands Gun, Fake and Molten for that, and I got the, I got another one for Molten, which is like, uh, you know, a disciplinary action, I've really been liking the disciplinary action lately, um, again, this one I really wish I could change more, um, it's about the same, but I do have the buff banner, I should actually change that to, um, uh, escape plan, yeah, the Vinge escape plan, um, but yeah, I do, again, I do wish I had, I, maybe I should change it a bit. All right, so at least I got that, and then I got that. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's like maybe I should change this a bit. So I got, uh, I mean, I got, I got, I got such great loadouts. Yeah, I could do Patriots pouches. Yeah, that, that's pretty, that's pretty solid for an MVM loadout. Uh, this one's pretty funny. So I got the Slutter Sidekick, yeah, Recipe Smile, and then I got the Poopy Dough and the Trixer's Treats. Those are pretty good. Again, pretty much the same except they got bad out of hell. Um, soldiers, uh, Smith is a lot, pretty much the same. I got the surprise. Oh, yeah, I should change that. Actually, there we go. Because I know I got that. So I got the, uh, surprise. I got basically the same, but I got a condor cap. So that's about done. Um, Pyro, I love this loadout for Pyro. Like, I kept the shotgun, but I like to do the combo with this. I got the kind of Ryu Japanese loadout with him. A little bit of cyberpunk flair over here. Um, this one, again, this one's really good. I like this one. I just keep it like this for my MVM loadout. Very cool, very cool. This one, I wish I could do more with Pyro, but again, I just don't have the cosmetic sets for it. Um, this one's like, ah, eh, again, I wish I could do more with this, but, you know, it is what it is. I should, again, I should change that, because it's still the same, it's still the same, um, flamethrower, just like different skin. Very cool, by the way. You know, get that if you can. Uh, Demo Man, sometimes I switch it out again. I, I keep the Blast Blocker and Stylish to Groot, but, um, I, I keep trying to do something for, like, um, uh, for, like, the, the pants, I think, but, again, I keep forgetting to. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. I got the, yeah, pretty good loadout. Again, I might uh, not change it. I, I need to color these to... Um, I need to color these with the paint. Uh, so th this is pretty good, too. Uh, I love the Death Star. Death Star is a great, great cosmetic item. Uh, Smithless ones, eh, about the same. About the same. Uh, Heavy, uh, again, I change them a bit, but this one I'm doing, like, the Commando one with the, with the hair. I got the Strange Apocalypse. Very great. Um, I, I don't like Saints Row Free, but, uh, sorry, Saints Row the Third, but really great. I think, I think it fits him so well. Um, MVM loadout. Uh, I think, uh, I do want to paint the, the Luchador mask. But, otherwise, yeah, just, just keep him the way he is. And I got the Brass Beast and the Sandwich and Fist of Steel. Uh, Halloween, I just made him like this, um, almost like, it's like Texas Chainsaw meets Friday the 13th type look. And I think the Iron Curtain is really, really good works on him. Uh, this one is like, oh, I love this one. I got the foot footies. I got the Washanka and the Dead of Night. And uh, I got this name. Yeah, this one I got from, uh, you know, Fang. That one's pretty funny. Uh, engineer. Sometimes I, oh, yeah, here we go. Sometimes I move them around, but otherwise, like, I just uh, keep, I just, again, I like to keep that cyberpunk thing in. Weirdly enough, like, I, I just keep them like the Texan guy in it, my MVM loadout. 
Uh, the, the Halloween one's pretty okay. Like, yeah, just a little pug. That's cute. Uh, yeah, the Swissest one's okay. I don't, I, again, it's always like the weird, uh, this one. Though, though, I do like using Widowmaker during Swissmas stuff. That's always nice to do. Uh, Medic, I try to make him as casual as possible. I, I think, uh, giving him the glasses was, uh, the specs was a great idea. Uh, let's take out the Berlin Brain. Yeah, this one is like my absolute favorite MVM loadout. You know, really, really good. I love it. Um, this one, yeah, I put the flatliner, yeah, yeah, I put the flatliner in with this one to kind of give that, oh, almost cyberpunk vampire look for him. And this one is, uh, this one's okay. I do wish the hat, I got a better hat for him, but, eh, uh, you gotta, gotta have what you gotta have. Um, uh, Sniper, Sniper is pretty good. I like this one. I, when I was a kid, I used to have genuine, I have the anger and the specs, like, and, and people were saying, oh my god, that's such a great look, you know, uh, I do wish I could color, I don't know why, Valve was like, yeah, let's do Team Spirit, but we're not gonna color all of this, we're just gonna make the pockets red, if I would've known, I would've not have wa wasted two dollars and fifty cents on that, <laughs> Uh, for my MVM loadout, just, you know, get the specs, Bill's hat, and the Jarmans. I think, I think that's, that's pretty good for Sniper and MVM scenario. So I got, I got this, and I got the Slayer Sidekick. I got the Fortify Compound, all that. I just think it fits him. So I got the Opera Hand, self warp Beauty Mark, and the Frying Pan. This one I got, you know, the Footies, the Brain K, and the Dead of Night. Now we finally get the Spy. Uh, not much, not much difference between his B loadout and his, uh, and his other loadout. I think, like, I just changed it to the Black Rose and the Dead Ringer. Dead, Dead Ringer, I, I still like using. Um, yeah, this one's, like, one of my favorites, too, with this one. Uh, yeah, I do want to try in the future to get the big kill. I know it's, like, super expensive, but I'd love to get, get, um, that weapon in the future. Uh, so that's my loadout. Uh, I, again, I apologize if I didn't put the, I didn't talk about the weapons, I'm just very tired right now. Uh, okay, so, like, the next one is, um, uh, the next question is, how long do I, do I think TF2 has, like, in actuality, like, like, how long before, like, I guess Valve will just, um, either let it die or just cancel it, or whatever. I would probably say, um... I, and I'm being completely honest. I give it one or two years. Because, like, I would be like, Valve, you, you gotta let this thing go. You know, let it go or do something. Like, I, I that'll be, that'll be like, that'll be answering the other few questions. But, like, uh, we'll, actually, we'll just move on with that. Like, so, is it possible for TF2 to have a, to have a sequel? I would say yes, but if Valve actually commits to it. Because, reminder, that's how Valve's development teams work, is that they have to be in the right mindset. Be like, yeah, we'll work on this, and if we don't like it, we'll work on another project. That's usually how they work. And um, I hope, you know, because, again, I've seen the Source 2 engine. It is beautiful. It's really, really nice. I mean, especially, have you seen that that Steam Deck demo for the for that Portal game, the desk job? That one is beautiful. That one's a great, great fucking engine. So, like, and I imagine, like, seeing TF2 on that would be awesome. So, again, I really hope Valve does something with that, you know? And, again, speaking of, question number nine. Should TF2 be remade ported to the Source 2 engine? Absolutely. fucking lonely. I really, really hope it does because, again... Um, and again, you don't need to make it like what high HD, 4K graphics, whatever. Just give it a, a better coat of paint. You can make it look good, like almost almost kind of high definition, but still make it that tune as style of graphics. You know? Like, it, to me, it's not that hard. I mean, it's like we're, we're tired of waiting. We literally have a, a fan team making a port of TF2 The Source 2 engine. Like, if we get... If once Sandbox drops, everyone's just gonna probably just drop off a TF2 and play on um uh TF2 Source 2 Sandbox. Maybe it won't be the best experience ever, but hey, it's it's kind of cool, you know. We got one on a brand new engine. And you know, sandbox will probably be good. Um But anyways, my last question is my overall thoughts, TF2 should people get into it today. 
I to be completely honest, I would say, um, unless you got some friends with you, it's like it's gonna be hard for people to get into TF two now in this day and age, considering we still have the bot issues and a lack of content updates. I mean, yeah, we had this, we had the Smithers update, but that's like three months. Like I know people were impatient, but you know it's been three months. Like we, yeah, it's been technically it's been two months since we got the last update. So I do hope we get more updates and not have to wait for a freaking summer update or something, you know. But uh, anyways, that's my rambling for today. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned for later. I'm gonna be making a um, I'm gonna be making a new video. Was it like yeah? I'm mean, making a new video, which will basically be um, my top four of reasons why I would move from Twitch to YouTube for streaming. So once again, uh, thanks everybody for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys later.